the world see Marokko as the biggest slum in Nigeria. For us, it is where we call home. In Marokko, we have over 100,000 people, and almost every week, we have a naming ceremony. The Marokko community have been here before I was born, and it's going to be here even when I'm gone because this is our home. Makoko is a very dirty place, but education is my way out. My name is John Mary. I'm teacher from Makoko. I want to be the first TV presenter in Makoko. When I told my parents I got that mission this year, they were happy. But due to financial issues, that's what stopped me. As a young girl in Makoko, I am expected to be married or pregnant. But for me, that's from education first. I have seen 13 years old girls that are mothers in Makoko. But if they had education, it wouldn't be so. What is this? Please, clap for you. For this Makoko, nobody will help you if you don't get hand work. So as I know go school, I can't go in fashion designer to help myself with my family. My husband takes English teacher, can't teach me because of my work. I don't do this work now over 12 years, and I don't train over 25 girls. All my girls, I take English teacher for them, so that about tomorrow, if they finish their work for my hand, so that they will know how to talk to call summer. Sevu mo machinu ba idu makubuti lo lo wa ganu mo konole do osono me ye dekwe ma ganu la lo wa me dan ye dekwe mo lo sevu ole me osono lo udu lo ma dunya uye me lo imo osono lo udu lo ma dunya uye me. Oso kwa ndo hundi kwa we dekwe mo lo be mo machini kwa ndo hundi ba ndo na wosono dekwe ma fufu ndo digu. Three reasons why people live here in Maoko. One, for those of us who have been born here. Two, people who migrated from the Republic of Benin or Badagri. And the third part, which is the most important, is Maoko is the most safest place in Lagos State. I guarantee that. BBC Minute.